So there is a new SMS gateway for sending messages between your smartphone and APRS. They used to have one of these and they shut it down, SMS GTE, I think it was called. And I was told it was shut down for spamming or maybe sexting. For him, radio operators, that's definitely not something you wanna see. But, uh, <laughs> but we've got a new system set up and I've used it and I'm gonna show you all about it right now. Let's go. I am doing this video away from the house because this actually doesn't work very well while sitting in my driveway. But if I drive like a half mile up the road, then it works fine. The reason for that is my distance from an iGate or Digipeter. My whole neighborhood is down in a valley. So sometimes it is hard to get signals out. And if I had a closer eye gate, maybe that's a reason I should put an eye gate in my home. I'm, I actually want to put an eye gate in the truck. And then once that happens, it won't be a problem anywhere I go. So I'm gonna show this to you right now. And then we're gonna go home and I'm gonna show you the website. You have to register your phone number on a website. And if you guys watch the video careful enough, you might see my phone number. I don't know. <laughs> If you've ever gotten an email from me, you probably already have my phone number. It's in the signature of my email, so there is that. Now, if you want to call me and I don't recognize your number, I'm probably not going to answer, but you can text me over APRS or just regularly. So here's what my FTM 500 lo looks like right now. I just sent myself a couple of messages and um, put back on that. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to take my phone behind the camera here and I'm going to send myself another message. Let's see. Testing for the video. You should see that come up here shortly. And there it goes right there. I have my radio set up to, if, if I get a message or a, an APRS message, it stays on the screen until I acknowledge it. So I have, so that'll stay there until the next time I get in the truck and see it. Testing for the video, there we go right there. So now we're gonna go back and this is, you can see right there, it comes from SMS. And those of you who have said that uh, the FTM 500 is, is a little cumbersome with uh, APRS me messaging, you guys are completely correct. <laughs> this is kind of cumbersome, but uh, so let's see. I'm going to go here and I'm going to say reply. And then I'm going to go there. And I'm going to, I, I think it's e easier to just say uh, clear all. And that clears the call sign out of the top you see right there. So I'm gonna edit CS, which is edit call sign, and I'm just gonna put that as SMS. Hold that down. There we go. Now the two at the top says SMS. You can see that right there. And now I'm going to hit this bottom button again, edit text, and I'm gonna say, you know what I'm gonna say? Here. There we go. Subscribe, like that. Now, if I go like this, right there i actually already screwed up so i put subscribe so what you have to do the way it knows which phone number to go to because sending it to sms is not going to do anything at all okay so the reason it knows which phone number to go to is you put your phone number in the front of that message so i'm going to edit text and i'm going to go up here i'm going to hit uh the number button let's go over to the number screen and we're going to put at and I'm gonna put my phone number right here. Okay, there it is right there. At number in front of my phone number, space, and then whatever message you got. And then we're gonna press that and we're gonna move over here to MTX for manual transmit or M transmit, whatever it is. I'm gonna push that like that. There it is right there. And now over on my phone, we're gonna see right here, it says KC5HWB-9 subscribe. So it comes from KC5HWB-9, which is my mobile radio in the truck. So the easiest thing to do, I'll just take a screenshot of that. The easiest thing to get, do, if you guys wanna send me a message this way, send it to KC5HWB-9. That is my FTM 500 in the truck. I think that my HT is dash six or three or whatever it's supposed to be, whatever the, the HT symbol is supposed to be. But dash nine means vehicle, traditionally speaking. And that's what I've got this set up to. I don't have this running all the time, but I do have it running when I'm on road trips, when I'm in certain areas, uh, when I'm at a ham fest, I'll have it running there. So send an SMS message from your phone number to KC5HWB-9, and I'm gonna show you how to register your phone number and how to do that right now. Today's video is brought to you by PCBWay.com. PCBWay does professional CNC machining, professional 3D printing, professional board manufacturing. So if you are looking for a way to bring your kit 
projects to life, if you have some sort of professional grade 3D printing you need done, check out PCBWay.com. Their link will be in the description below. Be sure to tell them that Ham Radio 2.0 sent you and thank them for sponsoring this video. So you see how well that worked. This is the website from uh, Ham Weekly. Dot com and it is I guess Ham Weekly looks like a blog Amateur Radio Daily by K4HCK he writes the blog here and the messaging service looks like it's done by NA7Q now I had some trouble with it when I told you guys at the beginning of the video that it didn't work for my home I was trying to use it for my home I was trying to use it on my mobile radio which was receiving but not beaconing at the time so I emailed NA7Q and I explained to him what I was doing and he's like, you have to do this, this, and this. He was very responsive, very helpful. So I'm going to thank him for that. But he set up this new SMS gateway. He calls it the connectdesk.com. So if we go right here and we pull this up, ham radio APRS to SMS opt in and opt out form. USA, Canada, and UK only. To stop messages from this service anytime, just send the stop message. Okay, that's good to know. For more information, please contact NA7Q. Email is good on QRZ. So what you do is you put your phone number right there and you just opt into it. And you click on a message and it brings up a page and it says, hey, okay, you're opted in. And then of course you can opt out on the same page. I will share a link to this page here and to the previous page I just showed you on the blog in the description below, but that's where you go opt in. So once you opt in your phone number, you have access to send and receive through this gateway. Now, I was at the Huntsville Ham Fest last year talking to uh, KM4ACK, someone much more knowledgeable about APRS than I am. And he mentioned that the old SMS GTE gateway would still work if you had pre-registered before they shut it down. And I had not. I tried it. I tried to send him a message. He tried to send me a message. We could not get it to work because I had never pre-registered. I don't know if that's still true today. This is January of 2024. That was um, August of 2023 when I was talking to Jason about that. So I don't know if that's still true today, but this one works today. Seems to work quite well. So you guys want to send me an SMS message, send it to KC5HWB-9, and I will reply to you through my radio. If I get any messages from you, about uh, on my phone. Again, if you call me and, my, and your phone number's not in my phone, I'm probably not going to answer. There's just too much spam calls these days. I get a lot of spam calls and it's just not worth my time to answer the phone all the time. But I do answer text messages. So if you send me a text message, I will answer you. And if you want me to send a message from my phone to your radio, just tell me what it is. You do need to be close to an uh, an SMS or an iGate, a full duplex iGate, not just receive only iGate, but one that actually transmits and receives. So you have to be close to that. But this is a pretty cool system. I'm going to I'm going to sign my wife up for it. <laughs> so that I can send her messages from my radio. And uh, yeah, that'll be fun. So let me know if you guys are going to sign up for this, if you're going to use it. If you've already heard about it, let me know what you think about it. And uh, thanks for watching today.